Okay, I think this is gonna be the last one for today and then I'm gonna call it a day. We are able to go from non-alert to engaged. We are able to have our cool down timer. Now it's time for us to, now that we're in our searching state, have a cool down for our searching state as well. So go ahead and hop into Unity and open up your script from before. If it's been a while, uh, here I'm gonna just slowly scroll through it so you can see everything that I have so far. And go ahead and start thinking about what are some ways that we could implement a searching state cooldown. Honestly, I think we can do it really similar to the way that we did our engaged cooldown routine, right? We need to wait X amount of seconds and then transition back into our not alert state. So to me, it makes sense we could use a coroutine again and wait a searching time. And as long as the player is still not within range, then yeah, we'll switch to not alert. So let's do this very similar to how we did our engaged uh, cooldown routine timer. Let's create a variable up at the top. That will be our searching time. We are going to use a private float and I'm gonna call this underscore search time perhaps. And I'll set that also equal to like 15.5F. I'm gonna overwrite that in the inspector. And let's go ahead and serialize the field as well. Serialize field. And back in Unity on the NPC character, on the script component that we have, search time. Let's go ahead and overwrite that. I'm gonna set it to five seconds as well, but you can set yours to whatever. I'm just gonna set it to a small number so that it's easy to test. Now we wanna create another coroutine, right? So I'm gonna do it on the same line down here. We're gonna say a private I enumerator and let's give it a name, maybe a searching cool down routine. Once again, it's upset because it needs at least one yield statement. So let's go ahead and yield. We're gonna yield, return a new, wait for seconds. And the seconds that we wanna wait is our search time. Now we've waited the amount of search time and we want to check if the player is still not in range, right? Like as long as the player is still far from us, then and only then do we switch to not alert. So I'm actually gonna copy this right here, command C, Command V, but instead of going to searching, we're going to go to not alert. Does this make sense, right? So after the amount of searching time, if the player still hasn't re-engaged us, we're gonna go like, huh, I don't know where they are, cool. And then go back to whatever not alert means. Last thing we need to do is figure out when do we call this cooldown routine? Well, it makes sense to call it right here, right? So as soon as we enter the searching behavior, this one time this is called, then we start the coroutine. We could call it up here. I realize now that this switch statement isn't doing too, too much and that's a-okay. Yeah, that's fine by me. Yeah, let's call it down here. So let's say start coroutine and then pass in the name of the routine routine, which is called searching cooldown routine, initialize with parentheses and end it with a semicolon, right? Let's hit save. Cool. Let's test it. Let's make sure that our searching cooldown timer actually works. So I'm going to hit play and okay, we're in the not alert state. I'm going to grab the player and drag it into the NPC. We're now in the uh, engaged state. I see the player. When I leave it, five, four, three, two, one, zero, searching, looking for the player. And here's the real test. Three, two, one. One, yay, it's now back fully back into the not alert, just chillin' state. Cool, um, this is awesome. I know these debug.logs are inefficient, but it gives us easy feedback to make sure that our program is working and 100% we're gonna delete those debug.logs when it is time. Perfect, cool, 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 cool. So we've now completed our first most basic setup. Well done in this one, and I will see you in the next one where we actually get to get into some movement. All right, see you then.